Cover crops are becoming increasingly popular in vegetable cropping systems. Given their wide array of characteristics and functions, they form an integral part of vegetable landscapes. But before we delve more into this topic, what are cover crops? Cover crops are plants seeded into agricultural fields, either within or outside of the regular growing season, with the primary purpose of protecting, improving, and maintaining soil quality and health. They also provide benefits to succeeding cash crops, which could be vegetables, fruits, or other field crops. Today we will learn about sorghum sudan grass, a cover crop that is heat and drought tolerant, produces a tremendous amount of biomass, and contributes to soil organic matter. In the following video, we will provide in-depth information about how it is grown and managed and assess its performance in the field. Today, uh, what I want to show you are a couple of uh, summer cover crop options. Uh, our uh, lab uh, and the research and extension program focuses a lot on integrating short uh, duration summer cover crops for vegetable crop production. Uh, we are uh, at one of the sites. Uh, this site was uh, established as part of the SARE professional development grant program and we are trying to train and uh, growers and uh, also the extension people to come here at the plot and take a look at the cover crop. Uh, the cover crop right behind me today's uh, featured cover crop is sorghum sudan grass and you could see uh, it's it's quite tall. Uh, uh, I'm about five feet five inches and this might be seven feet tall. <laughs> But uh, to tell you a little bit about this cover crop, uh, it's a cross between sorghum and the Sudan grass, a fast growing cover crop uh, from seeding to almost uh, in, in almost 60 days, you can generate a quite, quite a lot of uh, biomass. Uh, generally, the biomass ranges between uh, 8,000 pounds to 10,000 pounds per acre, and that's dry weight. So that's the amount of biomass you can add. add or, it adds organic matter uh, to the soil. And again, for growers, who need a quick turnaround with a cover crop between 50 and 60 days, this is a suitable option. So if you look at this crop, uh, this sorghum sudan grass uh, patch was seeded uh, in the first week of August and today is uh, October 16th, about two and a half months, and you could see the amount of biomass it has generated. Uh, in addition to the biomass which sorghum sudan grass generates, it also acts as a great uh, a weed suppressing tool. So if you want to walk with me inside this plot and we'll try to see how the, the ground looks like within it, you could absolutely see no weeds in there. This is clean and, and nice brown soil in there. This uh, smothers the weed, doesn't allow the light go in there and you can see the amount of biomass too. So excellent source of weed uh, uh, management tool, excellent weed management tool for the growers. We are, uh, I'll show you another plot just next to it. You could see the amount of weeds in this plot. We have a lot of red root pigweed and, and other grasses in there. We seeded the sorghum sudan grass at a rate of, of about 45 pounds per acre and we did not mow it. Uh, generally, it is mowed. When, once it reaches about two feet height, uh, growers can go and mow it. It will come back with a vengeance uh, and you can keep mowing it about two or three times that way you add a lot of organic matter to the soil uh, and also uh, helps to suppress weeds. To summarize, sorghum sudan grass as a cover crop can provide multiple benefits. Its ability to produce a tremendous amount of biomass in a short amount of time makes it an ideal cover crop for building soil organic matter. We hope that you found this video to be helpful. Good luck with your future growing seasons and don't forget to cover your soil with cover crops. For more information, contact Dr. Ajay Nair at Iowa State University or visit www.sare.org. We would like to thank North Central SARE and other regional partners who collaborated with us on this project.